So we're having a baby. She's called Rumi. Jermaine is practicing the azan, which is the call to prayer. Jermaine is a relatively new Muslim. He accepted Islam three years ago. When I started learning about Islam, that was very much that light bulb, like, oh, uh, everything I was reading, the things that I was working through at that point in my life, just all made sense. It brought a lot of clarity to, to my thinking, to, to how I was respecting myself. Um, it was very much that power saying, yes, now is the time. I be witness. I be witness. That there's no worthy of worship. That there's no worthy of worship. Except Allah alone. Except Allah alone. I was in the mosque. I had to recite the Shahada. That Muhammad, peace be upon him. Is Allah's servant. Is Allah's servant. And his last messenger. And his last messenger. It was that moment that I felt God came over me and put this, almost like this shield, this cloak over me. Alhamdulillah. Now you are our brother. In that moment, shivers and tingles. And still to this day, when I watch that video back, it makes me really emotional. <laughs> For all the fathers that have been there through the labors, there's not much you can do other than support and, and, and give comfort. It was almost as if every time I prayed, I just was given this strength to just keep going, which for me wouldn't have been possible without God. When they hand you your baby, and you can feel her like heart beating on your chest. I think in that moment, you just realise that there's nothing in the world that matters. Literally. Nothing in the world matters apart from this. As Rumi's dad, it's Jermaine's duty to recite the Adhan into her ear. The way it felt to read the Adhan into Rumi's ear, it's what dreams are made of. The room, just everything just got warm. And Rumi's reaction to it, she literally smiled, her eyes lit up. At that moment, I felt on top of the world. I felt God was with me, and I really felt he had his hand on, on my shoulder. So for her to hear the call, call to prayer as the first thing she hears as she enters this world, I think is really special because it's a connection to something much bigger. It's a connection to the rest of Islam, to all other Muslims in the world to Islam before her and after her.